um, what we're doing today is to help you um, see how you can put better nutrients into your life. So this is Nutrilife. Welcome to Nutrilife. My name is Joy Fido and you can see from my table that I've got quite exciting things for you. Um, now there are instances where maybe you've been very ill or you're trying to recover from a, a really bad bug and you're trying to get your body back to healthy start. Um, Nutrilife is all about putting nutrients into your body, very good nutrients into your body. And it's one of those things that I'm absolutely passionate about because I know that it's the food we put in that helps to create the body or the healthy body that we have. Um, this is where, this is one of those places where, you know what they say, garbage in, garbage out, in computer language. The same thing applies to our body. Unhealthy food into your body brings unhealthy life. But if you can start making changes slowly, slowly, no matter how small, and start putting healthier food into your body, it helps you to rebuild your body. So this particular video, we're trying to see what this does for us. This, um, the ingredients we have here are absolutely one of my top best. These are the things that I eat on a mostly daily basis that helps me maintain that optimum energy and it helps to rebuild my body. I mean, if you can see from far, my nails. Um, I always know when I'm not really feeling healthy because my nails starts to chick. But when I start putting the right food in, my nails start to sit there and they're becoming really firm and then I know I've been putting the right food into my body. So. I want to give you my little hints of things that I do that gives me that healthy, healthy um, nails and healthy skin and healthy body. So, welcome on board. Hi, welcome to NutriLife. Now, NutriLife is the part of our business where we help you to get healthy. It's all about healthy eating. A nutri means nutrients. So everything we try and you know share with you here are usually nutrient based. And um, naturally, if you've been ill and you're trying to recover, this is one of the best ways to recover really quickly. Because these foods that we're looking at are just healthy foods that are just bringing all the major nutrients that your body needs. So this is one of those ones where I'm kind of guiding you and showing you how you can achieve you know healthy eating really quickly and this could happen when people just you know had a, a you know a, um, an illness and they're trying to get some boost that can get them back to health really quickly so i you know use things like this in order to get my health in a really good state um luckily for me uh, the you know british people say touch wood it's been a really long time that i saw a doctor last and this is a, these are all the things I do. From time to time, people ask me, how do, you, how do you keep up with all the activities you do when you're never really ill? And these are my secrets. So I have a huge passion for, for health and it's one of my things to really see everybody healthy. So I'm going to guide you to how I create, you know, just basic smoothies that really pack a punch. Um, this is one of those ones that I call um, just recover your health really quickly. Uh, it's about regrowing the, the, the cells and you know cleaning cleaning your inside out basically. So I'll show you the ingredients that I've got here and um, just give you a basic demonstration on how I create these smoothies really quickly. Now the thing with smoothies and juices and all those way of eating healthy is you don't necessarily need to stop everything that you're eating right now if you know you're not eating healthy. Because uh, uh, what I normally say to everybody who wants to look at health is, um, if you are thinking uh, you're going to throw a lot of nonsense into your body and then you have this amazing health, it's, it's really difficult to balance that out. Uh, it's just like when you look at computer and they say garbage in, garbage out. So if you eat a lot of um, nonsense and put unhealthy foods into your body, um, the body struggle. You you tend to um, you know you you struggle and a lot of illnesses will just come and get at you really quickly. But if you try and put a lot of healthier stuff into your body, um, what happens is you you get a lot of strength, a lot of iron, a lot of 
uh, stamina, a lot of um, you know brain power, all kinds of things happen that make you really healthy and you can cope with everyday stressful situation. So while I'm encouraging all the healthy foods that you can think about, I understand that some foods out there may not be that great, but they are so exciting. The body wants some sort of like now that we have winter still going on, sometimes we want a bit of comfort food and you know bits of sugar here and there doesn't hurt. But whenever you've done all of those and you want to get back to your good health, these are the things I would recommend and this is just one of them. So what do we need to get this lovely, lovely smoothie that's going to give you health in no time? Um, the first thing you want to look at is kale. Kale is one of those vegetables that that really, really has so much nutrients in it. And then after kale, we're looking at um, spinach. Spinach, again, it's extremely healthy, very good for you. Um, if you're in the UK, I've got this from Iceland. And then what I've done is I just mixed a set in this bag, which is the one we're going to work with. So it's kale and spinach in here, the vegetable. And then the next thing is the bell peppers. Bell peppers are absolutely brilliant. I mean, if you can see my nails, once once you're eating healthy you're eating lots of these vegetables you see your your skin start to glow you see your nails start to push up and then you won't i always know when i'm not, not healthy i will notice my nails start to chip and that's just a sign for me to know that okay you haven't been putting the right things in so bell peppers they come in all colors green um red and yellow today i'm working with the green and then of course um, avocado, one of our favorite favorite is one of my favorite thing to eat. And then uh, cucumbers, again very healthy for you. So these are the main ingredients I'm going to be working with today. Um, the other thing I brought in here is just the um, strawberries. Strawberries for people who are struggling with taste. They might say it's too bland. You can try a free a few. Um, uh, uh, fruits of, of strawberries in there. Another thing you can throw in there is bananas, which I didn't bring here because I'm really not that sweet taste kind of person. I'm quite happy with the bland taste. And I tell you what, you can also do um, this is like a hint of salt and chili and garlic in one. So I'll just sprinkle a little bit in there just to give it a hint of taste. So that's our ingredients, and of course, with water that's going to help us uh, do the blending. The other thing we look at is the equipment we're going to work with and here is just a regular kitchen blender. You don't need anything too sophisticated. Now if you were one for exciting sophistication, this is Nutribullet. Now this became really popular at one point when everybody needed to own one. But my snag with Nutribullet is um, if you have a lot of things you want to blend, what happens you struggle with that because Nutribullet constrains you to quantity and, and how much you can put in there and, and it gets a bit too much and then you struggle to blend it. Look at how we go about this. So I'm one for the regular kitchen blender and all you do is just put your vegetables in there. So vegetable goes in there. I've washed it so try and wash them if you're not sure about that. Sometimes this this ones in the pack, they normally say ready to eat because they've actually washed it before they, they put it in the pack. So I'm just putting, um, I already mixed the spinach and the, and the kale in this bag when I was washing it. So that goes in and then you cut your cucumber in just in a little bit of, dice it a little bit so it's not too chunky for the blender to do its job. And so you just take it out of the wrap and you just cut it and so I'm trying to make sure um, we understand how easy it is to, to create smoothies that you don't have to always go to the shops to get them. You can sit at home and create your own smoothie. So I'll put that in there and then I'll cut it, um, I'll dice the bell peppers as well. Um, remember I washed all this so nothing here is um, is dirty. So get them, uh, when you dice your peppers you can take out the bits inside. Um, you don't have to put them all in. So you take out all the whitish part and 
just again in sizes that the blender can take very easily okay once you've got that out of the way um i've already cut the tip of this avocado so i'm just taking it in and so what i normally do i just cut it into two halves and then um, take out the the seed inside it again be very careful with the knife um that's my favorite way of taking out the seed then what i do is i just slice it some more into smaller chunks and then it's easy to take away the back so i do that The smaller the chunks, the easier the, the back comes off. Again, make sure this avocado is ripe. Don't go for unripe ones. Because if they are unripe, then they become difficult to... I won't say peel them, just to remove the, the skin. get them in the chunks you want them to be so what you want to do is on your part I just want you to do this as a bit of homework just go online and check for the nutrients in all these um, vegetables that I've shown you they all pack a punch and it just to help you recover really quickly if you if you've been ill and you're just trying to get back to good health again I just dice them so that they're easy for the blender to do its own job now the one really good thing with smoothies um, is the fact that because you've been able to reduce the chunkiness of this food your body takes it really quickly now I put that in there and I'm going to try and get my hand clean or uh, I'll try and put everything in before I go and clean my hands. Um, otherwise, it means I have to put them back in there again. Now, this blender is kind of looking really high up. Um, the reason is because the vegetables, especially the kale and the spinach, are really, really light sizes. But they'll be okay. Once this, it starts to blend, it'll just oh, pop down. So, the good thing with smoothies is your body just takes them really quickly um, they go into the bloodstreams really quickly um, the intestine um, the stomach doesn't have much work to do could you help me with a bit of tissue there so that I don't walk around really quickly being that we're doing a live program um, so the body doesn't struggle um, I'm just trying to clean my hand so that I can blend not necessarily to use it for anything else <laughs> so all this I'm going to throw away and then bring this a bit nearer and now water so water make sure it's um bottled, bottled water healthy water not just any water from the tap uh, probably you ask me what quantity you will be looking at um you don't put too much if you want it to be too if you want a bit of texture to it but if you don't want too much texture then you put a lot more and once you've got that then you cover it um yeah so it's all nicely sealed now and so i'm going to just start blending um let me be sure that my blender is on no yes a bit of time especially with the kale because kale is a very very um, strong vegetable so it takes time to blend if you wanted it to be even a lot softer or quicker then you could have put the softer things at the base and then um, the stronger things at the top a bit more push a bit more so that the kale can give room for other things to stop 
stop coming in there and blending. Now, usually depending on the kind of vegetables you put in, um, so you carry on with your blending and that's all you need that's all you need all you need is just the ingredients that you really want to work with put them all in the blender and just blend once you're done this is when you now decide if you want a bit of taste i could have put a few um strawberries in there but i'm not really one for strawberries um i um, i do i do stay a bit away from too much sugar so it's only once in a while i go for those kind of things so i could have put one banana as well if i wanted a bit of taste but my kind of taste is i'm gonna put a little hint of this chili and garlic um salt mix <laughs> If you wanted it to be really 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 soft then this is where you could have this has gone really really good I, I really like the consistency this is where you could have um, poured that out of this regular blender and put it in the new triple if you wanted it to be really really soft but I'm not really <laughs> So that's it done and um, I brought these containers here just for you to see what you can do with them depending on if you've done too much and you don't want to eat all of them at the same time you just get them out and pour it into the container. So that's what it looks like and you can store that up in the fridge for at least a day or two and try and finish it before then so that remember when it's off fresh food you don't keep it for too long because you keep it for too long what happens is the food starts to go off but the sooner you eat them the better and if you're not really sure that you need that much just reduce the quantities of what we put in I didn't put too much actually but it's just one of those things it was just one pepper one avocado and then what else did i put and then the kale and and that's it so whenever you're trying to recover your body really quickly this is one of the easiest way to just get your body to good health if you can take one of these a day in addition to whatever else that you eat you find your body start to uh, get back to good health and you won't be needing to go to the doctor all the time so what I'm going to try and do now is try and clean up after myself. Now I hear people complain all the time that when you're trying to do smoothie, there's so much work to do. There's no work here. I'm done. So all I'm going to do is try and put all that into this bag. Um, take the rest away because obviously I, put, I brought them here just so you can see them. Otherwise, if I was making this for myself, I would just have what I want. Just blend that, ready to eat, drink it, and I'm done. Oh, so let me test a little bit so you, you don't wonder how come she just made it and didn't show us how very simple spoon it mm. I love it so if you want a bit of taste you can just put a little hint of salt or whatever this is a salt and um, garlic mix and then I just scoop it and eat a hint of taste and that's it so I hope to see you next time when I come with many more um, recipes that can really get you into great shape and into great health and um, it's all about what you eat that's really what it is the body responds to what you put inside it so I look forward to seeing you in the next video when we're creating more healthy food choices for you thank you for watching